Hey guys, it's Dr. Matt here. Uh, this is the, the video that I've promised you uh, on my new microscope. So uh, what I want to do first, I think I need to maybe introduce myself a little bit because I think that there's going to be some people watching this video uh, who haven't seen my other stuff that are just looking at USB microscopes. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a hobbyist. I, I sharpen stuff. I've always liked to sharpen knives, but for the past four or five years, I've been into sharpening razors. Um, and when I got into it, on some of the forums I would go and I would see people would post microscope pics of the edges of their razors. And I thought, wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I went out and I got one of the microscopes. You know, they're just little cheapy microscopes. Um, and they produce decent pictures for the price and everything. Um, and three and a half years ago, I made my very first YouTube video on sharpening. And it was called the secret to creating the perfect straight razor edge. And in that video, I used tons of microscope slides, lots of pictures, a lot of before, a lot of after, and progressions as I went through. And it was really a pretty big success. I mean, to this day, there's over 40,000 hits on that video, and I still get daily emails questioning me about it. And so I think it's great. And you know, most of the videos that I've done after that, I always do try and incorporate uh, some, some microscope slides because I think it's, it, it shows objectivity and, you know, people kind of, I think at this point, come to expect that from me and, uh, you know, to be the scientific guy. And so I don't mind that because I enjoy it. Well, lately uh, on some of the forums, I've seen people who have started to post some pictures of microscope slides that were really quite incredible. I mean, they've really stepped up their game. And I started to ask questions. I was like, you know, what is it that you're using to take these kind of pictures? And these, they were telling me about some of the stuff, some really uh, high-end gear. And one guy sent me a picture of his stuff and I took one look at it and I, I, all I could think was, wow, that, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And I'm looking at all the stuff and everything and I went, wow. <laughs> all I could think to myself, I'm not smart enough to have one of those. That's way too complex. You know, the way that I like to do it is that I'll sharpen. I work on, I'm on my workbench here and I have my laptop literally right there on the bench with me and I have the microscope there. So I do a little bit of sharpening and I'll turn right to the, to the microscope and I'll put it and I'll look at it on the screen and I can go back. I mean, it's just right there. It's very convenient. It's very efficient. And, uh, you know, that, that's real simple for me. So I, I went and I looked a little bit further and I wanted to find something simple, something that was as simple as the microscope I had before yet would really produce a quality edge. So I called up Clay Allison over at the Wicked Edge and I said, Clay, I said a while ago, many years ago, you told me you had the scope and you sent me some really nice pictures that you took from the scope. And he said, yeah, he says that's a 500 power scope and it's made by a company called Dynolite. And I went, oh, okay. So I went on the Dynolite website and I checked out all of their scopes and as I'm looking through the scopes, I see something that really catches my eye. It was a 900 power USB microscope that simple that would fit right on the desk, exactly what I'm looking for. So I call up Dynolite and I said, hey, I see you guys have a 900 power scope. And they go, yes, we do. I said, so what are the chances of you letting me test drive it? And they're like, well, I don't know. So I kind of told him who I was and what I did. I sent him some of my videos and I said, I'll tell you what, if you send me the scope, let me try it. I said, I'll make a video. I'll post the video and let, you know, tell everyone what it is that I found. And they said, okay, deal. So they sent me the stuff. So I received the box, the goodie box. This is what's in it. And so right away I, I tear into it, and in just a few minutes, I'm up and running. This is what I got. Got the microscope and the stand. This is important, I'll, I'll show you this live in a second. Um, but in about 12 minutes, what I was able to do, get my first pick. So right away, this is the picture that I get. Now this is at a 900 power, you can see here, 896, this has what they call an AMR, automatic magnification reading, uh, it shows 896. This was the very first picture that I got. And I thought, ah, oh, you know, this picture does look pretty cool. Uh, to me, it actually kind of reminds me of looking at a nighttime sky, you know, all of the stars and the, the stuff going on in there. 
Um, but honestly, when I first look at this picture, I wasn't impressed because it, to me, this picture looks um, kind of cartoonish. Um, not quite exactly what I was looking for. So, you know, I'm working on it that night and I'm taking it. So this is another picture that I get. And again, this looks pretty good, but not exactly what I was looking for. Um, another one. Yeah, still the same stuff. But then I got a little better on it. I got to this point. I'm thinking, okay, now we're getting there with something that actually looks like steel. But what I noticed is we're starting to see some of the actual 3D dimensions. You can see this large groove here in the steel and some of the smaller scratches. Um, I noticed that the edge, this high reflection off the edge, was creating some issues with the with with the uh, with the software, and it was kind of kind of blurring that out. So um, again, this is closer. We can look at the level of magnification here, 936. And you can see, I mean, this is really close. You can see some stuff here that just was not visible at the at the 400 level or the cheapy microscope. Um, but still, I, I wasn't real impressed with this uh, because of what's happening at the edge here. So then, after a few days of playing with it, we get this. Pow! Now we're getting somewhere. Now I can actually see something that looks like steel. I can see some of the grooves in there. I can see the edge. Now, for those of you that don't, you know, don't look at this stuff before, this is, <laughs> this is, the holy grail right here. What we're doing is we are looking at the edge of the edge. This is stuff that we haven't been able to see before. The closest I've seen to something like this is a scanning electron microscope, an SEM picture. Um, but we can see it here with this DynaLite 900 scope. Um, so, got a little bit better at it. Now this one, what I've done here is I've turned off the color. This is a monochrome. And to me, that just looks a little better. If you look at the difference, to me, just looks better to my eye. I can see some of the three-dimensional type stuff pretty well there. It just look, it's just easier for me to look at. Um, so yeah, that's 900 power. And again, automatic magnification reading, 933 power. But what I wanted to show you real quick here is a comparison between the other microscope, the 400 power, the little cheapy microscope, which is here. Now, this is what I've been using for years, and this actually got me pretty far. Um, you know, this is not a bad picture, but the same edge within one minute later under the DynaLite 900 power, this is what we got. Now, that is an awesome difference. You can see what we're looking at. I mean, on this 900 power, there's things here that I could see that I could never see before. And in fact, it, uh, I, I discovered some things as far as some honing issues. And if you've seen my modified technique on the codical, I only discovered that as a result of this microscope. So this is really just awesome. There's one other thing that I wanted to mention, and that is on this particular microscope, the ability to do this. Now this, This is a video. You can do video on here. This is really cool. So this is looking at the edge, and let me start it here. You're gonna see it, the focus, start on the upper right corner, and as I start to change the focus, it moves down. You're gonna see it gets to the edge, and you can look at that. In focus. All right, let me show that again. Let me say this. When you look at this, at this level of magnification, your depth of field is very narrow. So you're only going to be able to look at small parts of that. So here again, we start up at the top. And as I start to move the focus knob, it moves down. You can see, and then we finally get to the edge. I kind of move it in and out of focus just a little bit there. Done. Wow, that is incredible. Pretty cool slides, huh? Okay.
Uh, one thing I wanted to mention here is regarding the software. Uh, the software that I use on my workbench, my computer, is a Windows computer. Uh, and the, it's a Windows 7, and this compute, the, the software, the DynaLite software, runs great. It installed real simple, and it's very easy to use. Um, it has, you know, you can type on each of the pictures, uh, each of the slides, you know, any information that you want. You can file them in, in folders they have within the program. You can even export them to folders that you have. Real simple to do. Now, DynaLite said that their program works on a Mac. They have software for the Mac. Now, they sent me a link to download it, and I tried it on my Mac, and that's this computer I'm talking to you right now, and it's running Lion. I couldn't get it to work on there. Um, in fact, I even tried it at home, and that Mac has Maverick, and I couldn't get it to work on there. Now, that's not saying that it doesn't. I just couldn't get it to do it. I may have had the wrong link, or I might be doing something wrong, but it does run awesome on, on, the, on Windows, and mine was 7, so that, that, part, that part was great. Okay, now, the main question, what's it cost? <laughs> Well, I can tell you that it's not cheap. This quality and this type of stuff, it's, 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 it's not cheap, but I can tell you, uh, it, it's really great to have. I mean, do you need something like this? No, of course not. Um, but it is nice to have something of this quality to get those quality of images. Um, now, there are two parts to it. Now, this is it right here. There is, of course, the USB microscope, but there's also the stand. Now, this is DynaLite's best stand. And you ha really have to get this stand. You can't skimp on the stand when you get a really nice microscope, especially at 900 power. You have to have something that's really sturdy. And this is very well made, as you can see. It's all aluminum. And uh, what I really like is this fine adjustment knob. This knurled knob has a great feel to it. Um, but w what's really cool is that you can adjust this on the fine control all the way up or all the way down. It's not like you have a coarse adjustment and you know you, you have to and then you move the fine adjustment. Of course the sweet spot of where you want to be is always at the end of the of the range of the fine adjustment. So then you have to do with the coarse adjustment. You can go all the way up infinitely up or down with just this this knob. And the knob it just has a great tactile feel to it. So it has a real positive touch. But also it does have a course adjustment. This button right here, you just push that in and then you can go all the way up or all the way down. And then you can move in on your on your fine adjustment. All right, so bottom line, what's it cost? Suggested retail cost on the scope is 850. The stand is 270. Like I said, not cheap. Um, so when I spoke to DynaLite, I said, look, you know, if I'm going to do the video and the guys that have been watching my videos or anyone else that wants to buy this stuff, I said, you're going to have to give them a discount. You're going to have to, you know, do something for them. And they said, well, we don't discount our items. And I said, okay. I said, uh, get back to me if you change your mind. So a couple days later, they get back to me and they say, well, <laughs> they said, we've talked to one of our retailers. And they said they've agreed to give you a give your viewers a Dr. Matt discount code. And what it is, it's a one-time 10% code, uh, one-time 10% discount code that you type in at checkout at the uh, uh, um, in the in, in the shopping cart that will give you the 10% discount. Now, what's really cool about this is it's not just for these items. All right, first off, the site is sunrisedino.com. Now, I'm going to put all of this in the description, so if you don't get it as I talk, it's okay. It'll be down below. Um, but sunrisedino.com, and they really have an awesome catalog of all kinds of stuff. And this discount code works for all of their stuff. Now, the discount code is out the door, OTD, out the door 10, OTD 10, and that you enter that in, and that'll give you the discount code. So when you go into the shopping cart, what you're going to see is under the items that you've ordered, you see it's going to say add promotional code. And what you do is you click on that and it's going to give you a box. And in the box you type the Dr. Matt promotional code, which is OTD10. And then you click apply code. And what it's going to do, it's going to apply that in your, uh, um, in the, uh, the, the, uh, the amounts there, the totals. And it's going to take off now just on the stand. And the scope, it's a hundred and eleven dollar discount, so that's not bad. So I have to really thank uh, uh, Sunrise Dino for agreeing to do this. Uh, I think that's that's pretty cool of them. Um, if you have any questions 
about any of this stuff, feel free to email me, drmatt357 at hotmail.com. Even better yet, <laughs> email Lance. I'll give you his, I'll give you his, his email address. He's a Dynalite. Uh, he'll be glad to take your emails. He's going to hate me for that. But no, I'll, I'll be glad to answer him. If not, you know, I'll, I'll put, uh, I'll put the, the Dynalite um, uh, email there and they'll, they'll be up, they'll glad, be gladly, uh, you know, we'll talk to you about this. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy your shave if you're a shaver. If not, just enjoy your day. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon. All right. Thanks again.